Jeep has been an American off-road staple since the beginning of post-war America and the brand exploded into the mainstream in the mid-80s with the release of the Wrangler. Over time, the Wrangler has been adapting to buyers' needs, offering more capability and more luxury. But now as the automotive industry as a whole is moving towards electrification, many iconic brands like Jeep are facing their toughest challenge yet. Hey, I'm Creech, and this is Creech and Cars. Today, I'm going to be going over everything we know so far about the upcoming Jeep Recon, Jeep's first electric off-road model. So first of all, you're probably wondering, is this just an electric Wrangler? Well, the answer isn't super clear. Officially, Jeep is saying the Recon is inspired by the spirit of the Wrangler. The overall size and interior space will be similar to the Wrangler and Cherokee, but the Recon will definitely be off-road oriented, although it still may have quite a few more creature comforts than a base model Wrangler. Jeep has maintained that the fully electric Wrangler is still coming, so the Recon most certainly won't be a Wrangler replacement, as while the Recon will use a unibody construction common among mainstream SUVs, the electric Wrangler should still use a body-on-frame construction. But I'll go more in detail on the market segment and brand position in the will it be successful section of the video. For now, let's take a closer look at the Recon's exterior. First of all, we can see the classic 7-slide grille, although that section isn't functional as there isn't anything up that high that needs to be cooled with the electric powertrain. Still, the slots are lighted and let everyone know that you're driving a Jeep. Below that is a rugged looking plastic bumper that sticks out a little from the body and this area does contain the functional grille which is straddled by a couple of electric blue tow hooks and some fog lights. The headlights themselves deviate from the Wrangler's rounded look with a more squared off appearance traced on three sides by the running lights. And then there are four LED bulbs found inside each light assembly. Up on the hood, the main design feature is the black accent in the middle with some more electric blue to again let people know that you are driving an electric car. It's all gloss black from the mirror caps up and the windows have a dark factory tint. Coming around to the side, there are a couple of interesting things here. First of all, there are some very meaty off-road tires wrapped around a nice looking set of wheels. Thick black plastic cladding runs along the bottom of the Recon and you can see the Recon badge on the front doors. The doors are just as easily removable as they are on the current Wrangler and if you'll notice here the mirrors are attached to the doors unlike some of the competition like the Bronco where the mirrors can stay on when you have the doors off. But if you like having the open air experience, the Recon lets you roll down the rear quarter window and there's the option for an electrically powered soft top. Now taking a look at the rear end, at this angle you can see the Recon has some decent fender flares and the exposed full size spare completes the rugged look. The tailgate is side hinged and the plastic bumper is asymmetrical with the license plate being on the driver side and then there's just a tow hook on the passenger side. There's also a 4xe badge indicating that the Recon is electric although the hybrid jeeps also get this badge, but I'll go more in detail on the powertrain shortly. In this picture, we can also see a hitch receiver, so the Recon can be optioned to tow straight from the factory. As for the interior, I can only give you a glimpse for now as these shots only show what is likely the top trim level with these nice brown leather seats and a black dashboard and steering wheel along with the black rubber flooring, which would be essential for off-road use. The most important details of the dashboard like the gauge cluster and infotainment screen are hidden here and I suspect that's because Stellantis is working on something completely new. Many of the automakers interiors are starting to feel very dated so we'll just have to wait and see what they will do for a new fully electric model. Now moving on to the mechanical and performance specs. With the 4xe badge, the Recon should have four wheel drive and Jeep certainly has the ability to make the powertrain very capable off road with the on the fly adjustments that can be made to the motors so that they put down the right amount of power in the right places. With this four wheel drive system, you can bet on the Recon having at least one motor on each axle, although higher trim levels should be equipped with three or even four motors, which means the Recon could top out at nearly 600 horsepower. The Recon will be trail rated, meaning it will get the select terrain system, although this system will likely be somewhat altered for the electric powertrain. The trail raid badge also means electronically locking axles and skid plates and other undercarriage protections. So with all of these features, what really sets the Recon apart from the eventual electric Wrangler? 
The biggest difference will likely be in the vehicle's construction. The Recon will be built on the STLA large platform, which is designed for large but still unibody SUVs. This will make a big difference in on-road comfort and handling specifically because it will allow the Recon to use an independent front and rear suspension setup. And while the top spec could offer a lot of power, that would have to come at the expense of range, but overall you can expect the Recon to get around 300 miles per charge. As for pricing, there's nothing official yet, but I suspect the Recon will have a large price range similarly to other ICE Jeeps. The base model Sport could start as low as $50,000, while a top trim altitude model may go up to around $80,000. Jeep expects the Recon to be available in the US before the end of 2024, so a full reveal should come soon, with the production model being either a 2024 or 2025 model year. So now that we have all of that information, will the Jeep Recon be successful as Jeep's first electric off-roader? At first glance, I suspected that many in Jeep's loyal customer base would be hesitant of the trend towards electrification, but Stellantis's slower transition appears to be paying off, as when the Wrangler 4xe first went on sale, only about 14% of buyers opted for it, but as Jeep executives pointed out, the jump in torque and ultimately off-road capability that comes with the electric boost eventually caught on with Wrangler buyers, and now about 40% of the new Wranglers sold are plug-in hybrids. Jeep executives are also saying they want to set the brand up to be the leader in electric 4x4s and off-roaders, and it appears they are doing that by slowly winning over the customer base for that segment. I also think starting with a new model instead of diving in with an electric Wrangler is the right move to make the process more gradual, and I actually see the Recon as eventually replacing the Cherokee in Jeep's lineup, filling the segment for a rugged SUV with on-road manners. So there's everything you need to know about the upcoming Jeep Recon, Jeep's first fully electric off-road SUV. What do you think about the design and features of the Recon? Would you rather go for it or stick with the hybrid Wrangler for now? Let me know in the comments down below. On this channel, I talk about car news like this, as well as history and culture, so if you like this video, check out the rest of the channel and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.